thousands of travellers from the region are facing the prospect of disruption to their summer holidays after the reintroduction of a travel quarantine for visitors returning from Spain. There were more than 25 flights back from the country to the northwest today, with everyone on board now having to self-isolate for 14 days. Well, Professor Tom Solomon is an expert in infectious diseases at Liverpool University, and he himself has just returned from holiday in Ibiza, but he did manage to get home just before the new quarantine rules were introduced. I asked him if he was surprised that the government had reintroduced them for travellers returning from Spain. I, I was not expecting the quarantine, but I knew that going to Spain was a risk because there has been an increase in cases over the past couple of weeks in Spain. So before we made the final decision to go, we looked at it. Um, I, I'm surprised that uh, the quarantine applies to people returning from Ibiza or the Baleariacs because there's a lot less disease there than in other parts of Spain. So why do you think they've done this sort of blanket? Um, quarantine? Well, I, I think up till now the approach uh, has been to consider countries as a whole uh, in terms of thinking about risks and quarantine. But I think that at the start of the outbreak, we didn't have very detailed data. We now have much more detailed data across the whole of Europe of, of the disease incidents in different places. And so I think that does allow us to be a little bit more flexible in that respect. And, and I, I hope the government will look at this because I think this kind of blanket approach makes it very hard for people who want to go on holiday, it makes it very hard for the tourist industry. Some people have asked, why don't we just have testing when we arrive back in the UK, as some countries, other countries are doing? That is one approach, but you have to remember that I came back on Saturday night, and if I was tested on Sunday, I might be negative for the virus then, but I might actually have the virus inside me, but it's just not testing positive yet. So you would have to do more than one test, I think. You'd probably have to test on arrival, and then again, maybe two or three days later, and that all becomes a bit involved. That is another very reasonable approach. At the moment, this government is opting for the self-isolation approach. I think either of them is reasonable, but I think it needs to be a bit more granular, a bit more focused on exactly where you've been overseas rather than just saying the whole of a country. You've clearly gone on holiday yourself, so you felt it was safe. So you wouldn't say to people, we shouldn't be going abroad right now? No, I, I went on holiday. I haven't had a day off since the 2nd of February. Worked pretty hard, both in the hospitals and also uh, with the research. And uh, I felt like I needed a break. Um, it's clear this, this disease is not going to go away. Mm. This problem is going to go away. We're going to have it months ahead. We are going to see uh, spikes in other countries or increases in other countries and other parts of countries. And, um, you know, we could either say, well, nobody's going to travel anywhere for the next six months. Or we could say, no, we are going to allow travel, but it's going to have to be all be a bit more nuanced. And that, that's the approach I think we should take. Professor Solomon, thank you very much indeed. And uh, I'm glad you got a rest. You probably deserved it. So thank you. Thank you.